In this video, we'll see the next part of the table that is working with alignment and formulas in the table. Formulas, I mean to calculate some average, minimum, maximum, anything. Okay. Let us see with alignment. So I'll scroll down at the bottom and uh, that's the data. Now I've created data here. I've purposely increased the size of this cell. So to make you understand about the cell alignment. So I've kept my cursor here and uh, I'll go to this layout. Now, if I want this cell text to be on the left hand side, middle, right hand side or bottom anywhere. So I have total nine positions for placing a text in the cell, nine positions. So what are those nine positions? If you see in the place is given as alignment here, these are nine positions. So, so I'll select the first one and observe the text which is given here. If I click on the first one, the text comes on the left hand side. If I click on the second one this way, it comes on the middle, third one it comes. So horizontally and vertically, what is the area of the text you want to place? You can select that. So you see, if I select this bottom middle, you see it comes in the bottom middle. So anywhere, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. I mean, total 9 positions are there. So if I want in between, I'll select the between position vertically and horizontally in between. That is nothing but a center position, right? So these are some 9 different positions. Next is if I want to change the direction of the text, you know, I want in 90 degree, 180 degree. So I can click on this text direction. Observe it is in horizontal manner, text direction. It came into the vertical manner. Again, I'll click on text direction. So again, it changed text direction. So it came back. So direction of the text can also be changed into this place. So that is what you can use this option. Next is, uh, this one thing which is known as cell margin. You remember we have seen the page margins in the layout tab. There was the option as page margins. So there was mirror, normal and so on margin. So that was for the entire page. Now I'm talking about the margins for the cell. Okay, so these are cell margins. So right now my cell, the text starts from the left corner. So if I want my text should start from here. Okay, that is the right hand side place. So I can select this as uh, cell margin. Do you want top, bottom, left and right? So I want from left, it should start from this area. So what I'll do is I'll increase it. Okay. So what I've done is I want to start my text after 1.65 centimeter and I'll click on OK. So from the left hand side, you see the spacing is given. I'll click on OK. So from left hand side, see the spacing is 1.65, 1.65 and all the places. Similarly, if you want to sell margin from top, if you want to leave some space, you can just go to this cell margin and now you can increase this margin. I'll increase to 1.85. It is starting from top exactly. If I click on this, okay, you see it started the space have left empty. So this way you can also work on the cell margin. Sometimes it is used, sometimes not. So this way that is all about the alignment. What we have seen is okay. So if I, uh, if I say and distribute columns in rows, okay, this has done. I'll, I'll decrease the rows uh, height and all everything. So it, it looks properly. Okay. So the next one we have, how we can work on the formulas. If I want to work on the formulas, how do I do that? Suppose I have some text numbers given as 10, 20, 30 and till 50. I want some of those numbers. Yes, in word also you can uh, use the formulas, some minimum, maximum, average. Very simple. You can just go to this layout tab and you see there's a section of data. You can click on this, uh, sorry. Okay, you can click on this formulae and uh, you'll get this dialog box. In this dialog box, my cursor is in the last place and I clicked on formulae. Automatically, you see, I've got the formula equal to sum and it says as above. Why above? Anything numbers in the above place will be captured. So they have said as above. Instead of above, you can use left, right, below, above. Four options is this, above, below, left, right. So now I'll just click on OK. And instead of sum, you can use average, minimum, maximum functions, any functions. So I'll just click on OK. So expected answer is uh, 90, 120, 1, you know, 150. So you see answer I've got as 150. Similarly, I'll just press Ctrl Z, go to this formula. Now I do not want this sum, I want average, right? So I'll type here as, let's say not average, I want minimum, easy to understand. 
<coughs> minimum of above i'll click on okay so you say it says minimum value in the above cells is 10 so i've got the answer itself so this way you can work on all the formulas related to this table itself you don't have to go to the excel and calculate all the formulas so i hope you have understood how to work on the cell alignments in the table and also calculate formulas in the word table itself that's all for this video